Welcome to the January edition of the Asbury Towers Virtual Sing-Along. Hope you're all doing well and you're staying safe from this latest COVID surge. If you're anything like me, you're, you're ready for this coronavirus just to get out of here, just to pack up and leave. It's not showing any signs of doing that though, is it? Maybe we ought to just fly away. Some glad morning when this life is over, I fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. Wanna sing it with me? Come on. I'll fly away, oh glory. for you know, about the hundredth time, right? What a, what a great movie. And those images, they just, they just stay with you. I mean, right now you could probably picture the, the scarecrow, right? And the Tin Man, see the Cowardly Lion, yeah. and Dorothy, especially out there in the barnyard, yeah, with those farm hands and She's out there and singing this song. Someday I'll wish upon a star 
and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. If happy little bluebirds fly above the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Somewhere over the rainbow. You know, I, I was wondering, too, how many times it took me when I was a child watching that movie to make the connection between those three farmhands there in the barnyard and the scarecrow and the tin man and the cowardly lion. Like, you know, what? <laughs> Probably quite a few. Wasn't all that bright of a young kid growing up. And what were the names of those fellas in the barnyard anyway? You know, who were they? Do any of you know? What? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Mo Larry Curly. I don't think so. How about we sing our favorite song? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. sung together. That's the one probably we sung the most. And the ones we like the most probably too, eh? How about, uh, how about one from the uh, father of country music as he's known? Old, uh, old Hank Williams. This one's going out to all you lovely ladies there at uh, the Asbury Towers. That's right, huh? I'm talking to you. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe we could find us a brand new recipe?
looking. Yes, sir. You know, next month, uh, being February, we'll be uh, singing a couple songs for uh, Abraham Lincoln, since uh, that's when his birthday is, right? And it'll be Valentine's Day, so, you know, a love song or two. This one, though, we won't be singing it. This is an anti-love song, but it's one of our favorites. Paper roses, paper roses, oh how real those roses seem to be. But they're only imitation, like your imitation love. train down to Charlottesville, Virginia, and uh, stayed at a hotel uh, right at the end of the street that's uh, kind of known as this open-air mall, and uh, old buildings on both sides of the street, and <clears throat> you walk down, you just walk down the middle of it, and in those buildings were shops and restaurants and, you know, what have you. First morning we were there, we uh, were walking down the street there, it was early, there was not too many people out. And in front of uh, one of the buildings there was this, uh, I don't know what you call it, a metal sculpture or something, it looked like a dinosaur. So we thought we'd take a, you know, selfie with our phone there in front of it, you know, get there and try to get in the, in the view. Well, as we were doing that, I bumped into the thing, about knocked it over, and out from the store hurries this uh, young woman. She asks us if she, uh, you know, if we wanted to take our picture. I, I figured maybe she was more like trying to save her dinosaur, but well, we said yes, and we, you know, gave her the gave her the phone, and she took a, uh, you know, several pictures of herself until she, you know, pushed that button and turned it around and took a few of us. So we we followed her back into the store, thanked her, you know, and wasn't anybody in the store, just. Uh, the owner sitting back there in the corner doing some paperwork or whatnot. It was a, it's kind of a cool store. Plenty of stuff in there, different kind of things. And we bought a few things and went up to the counter, paying for them, the young lady, and started talking to her. Asked her if she was a, you know, a, a student there at the university. Said she was. Asked her what she was studying, and she said, uh, 
music. She was a music major and studying voice. She looked to me uh, a good deal like Ella Fitzgerald. Maybe that's because I've been listening to some Ella recordings, I don't know. So I asked her if she knew uh, Dream a Little Dream. She said she did. I said, well, would you sing it for me? And, uh, and she uh, you know, was kind of modest and didn't really want to, but Pam and I kind of persisted. And finally she, uh, she started in. She... Stars shining brighter than both you. Night breezes seem to whisper I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees. Dream a little dream of me. So I said, tell me more. <laughs> Say nighty night and kiss me. Just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me. While I'm alone and blue as can be, dream a little dream of me. So I told her that uh, I'd been listening to an arrangement that uh, Ella sang with Louis Armstrong. So right about then, Louis changed the key and went. Stars fading, but I linger on, dear. Still craving your kiss I'm waiting to linger till dawn, dear Just saying this Without missing a beat, she picked it up from there and took it home Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you And in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream of me True story! <laughs> yeah. well, we look at those pictures from time to time, see her there kind of leaning over the camera Yeah, good stuff Speaking of Louis Armstrong, how about this one? When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. Be happy again, keep on smiling, it's when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. philosophy. But it's not always an easy one to, to practice. I mean, you know, there's times when you're, uh, you're just not feeling good, you know, your body's hurting you, you maybe feeling depressed, you just don't feel like smiling. Or, uh, no, maybe something's happened in the world, in your life, that Oh, you know, it's causing you sadness. Like this fellow. I was dancing with my darling. 
the Tennessee walls with an old friend I happened to see. I introduced him to my loved one while they were dancing. My friend stole my sweetheart from me. I remember the night in the Tennessee walls. Now I know just how much I lost. I lost my little darling the night they were playing beautiful Tennessee walls. smile about did he? Oh. I don't know though, come to think about it, if she just up and leave him like that, just dancing with somebody else, maybe it's just as well that she was gone. I mean, better off to have that done early than you know, get really serious about her. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, did change a few things. I'm like, maybe if you got another sweetheart, Maybe uh, he didn't let her go dancing with some uh, some of his friends. <laughs> or maybe he got some dancing lessons. Maybe that was a problem. <laughs> maybe he was such a bad dancer that she just you know, figured she'd be safer dancing with somebody else. I don't know. But I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, if he learned this song to sing to her the next time he saw her. Your cheating heart will make you
just about do it. We'll, uh, we'll have one more and then we'll uh, look forward to seeing you again next month. You know, the 25th of, uh, of this month, uh, a lot of folks celebrate the birthday of, of Robert Burns, Scotland's national poet. They'll uh, They'll have meals, uh, traditional Scottish meals. They'll uh, have some readings of Burns' poetry, sing some songs. Surely they'll sing this one, uh, Old Lang Syne. Now Burns said that he uh, had heard an old man singing a song, and he used uh, not only the melody from that song, but also some of the words for, uh, for Old Lang Syne. Well, that melody that he used was uh, was different from the one that uh, that we sing to ring in the new year. It goes like this: Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot for old lang syne? For old Lang Syne, my Joe. For old Lang Syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet. For old Lang Syne, different, isn't it? <laughs> surely you'll be your pint stoop, and surely I'll be mine. We'll take a cup of oh, kindness yet For old Lang Syne For old Lang Syne, my Joe For old Lang Syne We'll take a cup of kindness yet For old Lang Syne a few years after Burns died, a music publisher from Edinburgh discarded that melody and paired the lyrics with the one that, uh, that we're more familiar with. You know, the one that goes like this. Twa ran aboot the breeze, pulled the gowans fine, we've wandered Many's the weary foot Sing old Lang Syne For old Lang Syne, my Joe For old Lang Syne We'll take a cup of kindness yet For old Lang Syne We twa a paddle in the barn from morning sun till dine But seas between us pray her ord See no lang syne For old lang syne, my Joe For old lang syne We'll take a cup of oh, kindness yet Here's a hand, my trusty fear. He's a hand of thine. We'll take a right good willy walk for old Lang Syne. For old Lang Syne, my Joe. For old Lang Syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for Rulang Syne. 
Thanks for singing with me today, folks. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next month.